Let's talk about advance. Two things about advance in the dictionary. So when we talk about advance, number one, this is not one of the two things. This is the introduction. Advance is verb, a verb word. When you talk about verb, one basic thing that comes to mind when verb is involved is action. Verb is a command and action word. So when we talk about action, it means there is a command. Obedience is in the action. So verb, you must obey verb. You must obey that action. You either move or you don't move. When we say move, you don't think about it, you move. Am I communicating? It's action. Say action. 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 So that's it. The Lord said to the people of Israel, in the time of Moses, say you have been on this mountain for too long. Break out. Break out. Get your stuffs out. Get your bodies, your minds, and your laziness and your confusion. But just get out of this place. If you, if you celebrate that, oh, advance, the Lord says we should break out. And you celebrate after that, you lie down and sleep. You, nothing has happened. So advance is an instruction, is a command. Advance is a prophetic move. Every season like this, we either add advance to break out, break out and advance, or we deal with breakouts differently and advance. This year we decided to say, let's take advance. So advance, two things about advance. Number one, advance is about increase. It's about growth. It's about forward movement. We are talking about move forward. That's what advance means. Increase. Go forward. Prosper. Rise. That's advance. Multiply. Do something. Be more. Advance means more. Another word for advance is having more. Go more. Have more. Do more. Rise more. Increase more. Move forward. Grow. Increase. That's one sense in advance. The number two sense is rates. The rates of movement. Advance then can mean, okay, you move. But to move from Goshen to Plaza, it takes you one month, you're actually moving. And somebody calls you, where are you? I'm still coming. Coming? Where are you now? Oh, I just, I'm just passing the Akamban Suka Primary School. Just don't trust me, I will get there. Two days later, where are you? Oh, the lucky feeling station. You know, that feeling station, as you climb the hill, by the grace of God, I've made it there. You are actually advancing. But the rates of your increase is eternity. Means you are tortoise advance. You know, like tortoise also move. They migrate. They move from one place to another. But the rates is that anything can overtake them. Anything can kill them. Because in the game of life, if you are moving from one place to another, there are things that don't want you to get there. If they overtake you, they eat you up. So for you to get there, you must be so fast that you get there before they come. Somebody talks about the jungle of Africa. That every day, two kinds of animals wake up in the jungle of Africa. The ones that are so fast and the ones that have to be very fast. So the one wakes up and runs faster than anything that wants to eat it up. So anything that wants to eat it up, it must run faster than that. And for the, thing, the one that wants to eat, you know, somebody has to eat something. That means you have to run faster than the things that you want to eat. And the things that is available to be eaten must run faster than one wants to eat it. So many of us, we blame the, we blame the devil because we don't, we don't walk fast enough to go beyond his, fle, his, his influence. After 10 years, we are still in the sphere of men. And the scripture says we are not fighting against flesh and blood. Flesh and blood is too little to be the subject matter of the battle of Jehovah. He said the weapon of our warfare is not what? It's carnal, meaning it's not human. It's not according to the name of a father, a name of a mother, a name of an organization, a name of... 
as nonsense. It's an insult to the revelation that makes us alive. It tells you a lot of people claim to be prophets and they are inspired by their fears and their, and their blind dreams. To be a true prophet, you must know the word of God. So there are certain thoughts that will come to your mind before you even say it, you will edit the thought according to the word of God. Am I communicating? Certain thoughts or dreams or revelation that come to you, you use the word of God and do what? Edit it. You say, no, I cannot tell somebody about this one. I cannot tell somebody about this. Yeah. So, as long as you can run, run with the word of God. Run with revelation. Run with rema. That you come and sit down here and you are taking note. And you are praying with the note. You are going back to do further studies. You are burying yourself in the Lord. That is the running. You are too fast for things to catch up and contend against you. But as long as you are not going to anywhere, too lazy to wake up in the sight of God, too lazy to know what God says about you, too lazy to know who God is for you, too lazy, too lazy for you to know who you are in God. You keep blaming people. Oh, if not for this, this will not be this. Blaming people does not change your circumstance. Blaming demons just glorifies Satan. Doesn't honor God. Run. Run with the world. Run. Run with revelation. Run. Run with what God is saying. Run. Run with understanding. Run. Run with knowledge. That's how you run. And you run, if you run with the word of God, you are in the leak of God. If you run with knowledge of the word of God, you are in the leak of God. There, there are different leaks. There are those who run with men. There are those who run with horses. And there are those who run with spirits. Glory to God. There are those who run with God. Am I communicating? If you run according to the rules of men, oh, you are running in the leak of men. If you are running according to tradition of religion, you are running among religious people. If you run according to the word of God, your speed, your class is God's class. That is how they will conspire against you. But no weapon fashion against you shall do what? Shall prosper. Why? You are not in their class. Um, this one I'm talking about, do you understand it? You are not in their class. You cannot know the word of God and be in the class of what is not God. You cannot walk with the word of God and run with the word of God and be caught up by things that are not God. You are only surrounded by God. Glory to God. Rise to your feet. Say in the name of Jesus. In the race of destiny, I'm not running against demons. I'm not running against spirits. I'm not running with men. I'm not even running with, with, with horses. For the weapon of my warfare is not carnal, but is mighty in God. Say, my class is God class. Say, my competition is in God. My race is God race. I run in the word of God. I run with God. Where God is on the, in the morning, that's where I am. What can stop God then will stop me. But it has to stop God first. What will slow God then will slow me down. Say, so I run with the world. Tell somebody, run with the word. Speak to yourself, I run with the word. Shout it louder, I run with the word. Say, I advance in the world. Say, I advance not by the permission of Satan. I advance not by the permission of humans. I advance by the permission of God. For it is written, if God be for us, Show me, ask somebody, show me who can be against me. Tell another person, you see, I am, in not the, I am not in the class of anything. I run with God. Glory to God. Can you celebrate it and just, I run with God. Hallelujah. Sir, that is what I know. That's why I cannot make excuses. I cannot give the devil through his agents and some blind men. 
Because the scripture says the fool say in their heart that there is no God. So I cannot those who walk, wake up in the morning and talk with boastfulness as if there is no God. The scripture says they are fools. How do I wake up in the morning and run with fools? I run with God. And the only people found in my space, those who know God in that, in that level. Those are the people. Be seated. Glory to God. So advance, first of all, means move forward. But the second level of advance is rates. When we talk about rates, we are talking about speed. Speed is the rate between time and distance. That's it. Rates of motion between that is measured by time and what? Distance. That's it. So advance in the second sense is acceleration. So there is advance as moving forward. But there is moving forward as an accelerated moving forward. As a speedy moving forward. As a fast moving forward. Sir, I told you the other time, Toyota Camry moves forward. But Ferrari also does what? Moves forward. Sir, helicopter and the F-35. <laughs> they are both flying objects. Helicopter to move from here to Lagos, sir. That's quite some work. If it is advisable to do that, that's quite a lot of work. But F-35, American spec, sir, is a matter of group. So by the time you hear the sound, you have lost it. So the sound comes to tell you it has already passed. The sound tells you I had gone. I praise God. Am I communicating? Once you hear the sound, it means you are no longer at the same level. So sound is after effect. It goes ahead. Both of them are advancing. The difference between the two is the rate, the speed. So there is advance as moving forward. A lot of you here are just moving forward, trudging and trudging and moving forward, laboriously and moving forward. One year later, moving forward in one place. Ten years later, moving forward in one place. Some of you, you've been preparing to marry 20 years ago. Now you are old. By the grace of God, you are still preparing. You are advancing in the sense that you are thinking of getting married. Let's talk about the rates. Praise God. I say praise God. So you need, you need the help of the Spirit to take you. So advance that we are interested in is the combination of two. The advance of 2024 is a command for you to move forward but with speed. Say, move forward but with speed. Rise to your feet. Say, I move forward. But I move forward speedily. Say, I move forward. I move forward with acceleration. Say, I move forward. But I move forward with fastness. Say, I am fast moving forward. Say, speed helps me as I move forward. Say, I advance. Not just taking a step after another. But I advance with speed. Oh, say, the wind of God. The wind that causes men and women to move forward. The wind of God. Shout it louder, the wind of God. The wind that comes to make people move forward with speed. Come upon me. Place your two hands on your head and say, I don't just want to move forward. I want to move forward with speed. Say, I don't know where I am now. In relation to where God expected me to be. But I know with the help of God, with the wind of God, I will gain speed. Say, I gain speed by the help of the wind of God. Open your mouth and speak in the Holy Ghost. Visit me in my connection. Visit me. Encounter me in my dream. Encounter me in my career. Oh, the rich. Oh, the spirit of the Almighty. I don't just want to feel it. I want to be it. I want to see it. We are here for you. Calabresi Catolia. 
Come and do what you do. Calabria Bosha Kata. We set our hearts on you. Calabosha Kata. Come and do. Oh, praise God. All on his own. What you do. Ah, this is a move. Calabria Sata. Say, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving, I'm moving. This is a move. Calabria Sikata. We are here for you. Say, what kept my grandfather cannot keep me. What kept my grandmother cannot keep me. What kept my pastor cannot keep me. Sir, you can be pastored by somebody who is stagnant. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We are here for you. Come and do what you do. We set our hearts for you. We set our hearts on you. Please, Lord, come and do what you do. We need a move. In the name of Jesus Christ, move forward. Say, I move with speed. Move forward. Say, I move with speed. Say, I say, move forward. Say, I move with the speed of God. I move with the help of the wind of God. In the name of Jesus Christ. Advance for us is a command to move forward with speed. That's it. Moving forward with speed is the will of God for you. You have to know as a child of God, the plan of God for you is that you have speed. By the grace of God, so in my life, I have experienced speed at every time of my life. Every time of my life. Sometimes, how do you measure speed? Sometimes you don't, don't necessarily move, measure speed by how far you have gone in a short time. You also have to measure your speed against the battles you have to fight to move. Some people have no position and they move. They move fast. Some people weighed down by all sorts of things. But in the midst of this, they carry houses on their backs, carry hopelessness, carry all sorts of things. But they don't sink, they are going. This is the difference between the speed of an ego and the speed of Lake Lake Pambo. No, me a fear above. Oh, praise God. That white, that white stuff that comes during during dry season from those who are in this part of the world that moves like this, <laughs> like walks with like cows, camel, or anything that stirs the grass. It does not have the weight to stir the grass. So it needs something that can stir the grass. And it takes. When eagle is going, eagle carries so much. Eagle has so much to, be, to carry. Eagle Christian, they are those, they carry the burden of brethren. They carry the burden of sisters. They carry the burden of families, of ministry. And yet, they go with speed. Some people just, just, Carrying themselves with nothing else. Year in, year out. They are in one place. By the grace of God, we have carried things. We have carried things. Carried burdens of human opinion. Carried burdens of judgment and condemnation and accusation and false rumor. Carry all sorts of weights that are contrary. By the grace of God, seven years later, it looks like we have always done this. Looks like this is the life we have always lived. There is a speed that is despite all weights and nothing has been able to stop. By the grace of God, that's the category that I belong to. I belong to the eagle category that we can carry things on the wings and not be stagnant and not stand in one place. So oil flows from the head. I will not preach what I have not seen. Paul said, I will dare not preach. I will dare not talk about what the Lord has not done through us. That's what Paul says. I will dare not talk about what the Lord 
has not done through us in this call. We will talk about what the Lord has done through us in signs and wonders, in miracles and power, and all of the God's mighty work, such that from, from Jerusalem to Illyricum, we are fully preaching the word of God. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Shout. That is it with all the weight of being, of, of being, being beaten like twice with the 40 minus one stroke of the Jews being beaten with rot, being shipwrecked, that is carrying something. Sleeping day and night in the water, being naked, in peril, in the desert, in, con in the country, and with people. And in all of this, the conspiracy of false brethren, false brethren, all of this weeks. So people like Paul, they have, they have the privilege, they have what the rights to preach about advance that nothing could stop them nothing could stop them so there are those without any opposition who move from one place to another and they talk there are those who despite everything they are going i don't know which one you belong to whether you have anything fighting you if there are demons and demonesses if there are witches and witches and wizards Whatever it is, human principality and power, people swearing that you cannot go to anywhere. What a great opportunity to demonstrate the strength of God. That is an opportunity. If the Lord had not been on our side, let Israel say, but for the Lord. That's it. That's it. So whatever you are going through, there is speed for somebody. Why? It is by the wind of God. Shout the wind of God. Wind of God. So no, you cannot go through things and say, oh, because of what I go through, it tear me, it came me. Now I mean, tear me, many fall, make a mini wheel you fought. You carry your, you fought father on the wing of grace. You can first go to do you fought, but you are moving forward. And with the speed of God, a ten first go to do you fought, your father is the other person, you are moving forward. You come from a family, nobody has ever made it, and you are the first person. You carry the entire history, the history against making it, the history against emerging as the first. You carry it on what? The wings. And then you move forward. Sir, until there is darkness, there is no proof of light. So you cannot carry light and then run away from darkness. If you carry light and they say there is darkness, then what are you going to do? You run towards darkness in order to test it. Sir, so this, is the, this is the mystery we have been given. That meaning I'm we don't do things by assignment. Assignment is begging. Atta is by power. Glory to God. For the kingdom is not a matter of assignment. It's a matter of power. Patrick Grace Henry is the president, Grace Family Commonwealth of Champions. Worship with us every Sunday in any of our services, Rising Stars Assembly by 7 a.m. and Champions Family Assembly by 9 a.m. Earth Live on Planet 101.1 FM and Spectrum TV at 10 a.m. Every Thursday for World Power Encounter by 5 p.m. Venue Goshen, Kilometer 14, Wangiba Road, Ekamban Sukara, Uyo, Akwaibom State. Join our live streaming on Facebook, YouTube at Grace Family Outreach and on the Christ Radio app. You can become a part of this great revolution by becoming a partner today. To all our partners and friends, we say thank you. For partnership, please call 0907-383-8742. For prayers, counseling, and inquiries, please call 0818-043-3225 or 0803-671-5303. Grace Family, raising champions from ordinary people.